Hey guys, Shane Storms with DroidMotorX.com. Today I'm going to be bringing you my full review of the Hyperdrive ROM for the Galaxy S4. This has quickly become one of the most popular ROMs for the Verizon variant of the Galaxy S4. You can now run it on the latest over-the-air update, ME7 via SafeStrap, or if you're like me and you haven't taken that over-the-air update, you can install it via TeamWin Recovery Project or Clockwork Mod Recovery. So the first thing that I noticed about this ROM over the past couple of days while I've been running it is the insane battery life. We'll go into settings, more and battery, and you guys can see that I've been running this ROM today for almost 13 hours and I still have 44%, so almost half a battery with using the phone for 13 hours. That is pretty outstanding. The next thing, of course, that I noticed was the speed optimizations, performance optimizations that make this ROM run with zero lag. So you guys know that even the stock TouchWiz ROM that comes with the phone has lots of lag and it kind of is bogged down by all the extra TouchWiz features. Another really cool part of this ROM is that you can choose the TouchWiz features that you want and you can choose the AOSP features that you want and kind of make this ROM your own in the Aroma installer. I'll be sure to include a link to the Aroma installation guide in the description below but as you guys can see this ROM is really smooth and really quick so of course this ROM is chock full of customizations first thing that we have here is a wallpaper chooser with a few hyperdrive wallpapers And of course, you can choose a custom boot animation from the Aroma installer. That's always a plus. We'll head into settings and about phone. You guys can see that we are running Android 4.2.2. This is Hyperdrive release 9.1. And we are running the VRU AMDK version. And the build number is VRU AME7. So like I had mentioned earlier, this ROM is full of tweaks and mods. So we'll go ahead and open up the Hyperdrive Tweaks. It does have an advanced settings. So you can fix permission. You can mount the system read and write. You can wipe battery stats, wipe cache, wipe Dalvik cache, all from the Android system. You don't have to reboot into recovery for those functions. If we go into Tweaks, there's all kinds of customizations here. If we go into System, and we can change the CRT animation, turn that on or off. You can enable the Kill Apps toggle. You can choose uh, some TouchWiz launcher settings. You can turn on blocking mode. There are some additional settings here. You can turn on Pi Control. You guys know that from Paranoid Android. And the LED control allows you to set up your LED light to change colors depending on the notification that's coming in. You have some clock settings. I prefer the center clock, but you can change that to right clock or no clock. You can add or remove the AM PM style and the day of the week. And you can change your clock's color on the fly. There are some lock screen settings here. You can enable the AOSP lock screen. You can change the AOA, the AOSP lock screen vibration. You can enable the torch light from the lock screen, which means that you can enable the uh, flashlight without actually having to turn on your phone and unlock it. There are some status bar customizations here. You can choose uh, the color of your status bar. You can choose the battery icon. There are lots to choose from. I always go with the text only. You change the circle color in your battery icon. You can change the animations whenever your battery is charging. You can choose the battery bar color and enable the uh, My UI style battery bar. You change your sounds. There is a toolbox with some more uh, features in the ROM here. You have kernel control. This is the Trickster Mod kernel control. It allows you to choose governors and also change CPU settings. You have the exposed framework installer, which allows you to make all kinds of mods to your framework. If we go into the app drawer, we can go to the hyperdrive hub. The Hyperdrive Hub allows you to install Hyperdrive over-the-air updates. And there are also some other themes that you can download here. And then if we go over to Downloads, uh, there are all kinds of boot animations. Uh, I'm sorry, there are all kinds of framework animations. So when you're going from, um, like, going into your app or going back to your launcher, there's some animations in there that you have some keyboard skins. 
toggles that you can download, custom fonts that you can download. You can change your app icons. There are different kernels that you can run, and there are various add-ons. So any of these that you want to run, you would just download them, and then it would also install that as well. The Hyperdrive ROM has one of the largest features list of any ROM out there. The biggest, best part of Hyperdrive is that it is built on TouchWiz, so you know that it's not going to be buggy. It actually removes the lag with the speed optimizations, the performance enhancements. I'm getting excellent battery life on it. I haven't seen much better battery life on this device. And so far, this has to be one of my favorite ROMs. Big shout outs to Esprit, the developer. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at drawermodrx.com. I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Thanks, guys, for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.